Welcome back to another what sold in 90 days type video. We're just going over things that, like I said, have sold within the first 90 days of being listed. Sorry for the long disappearance. We went on a trip and then it was just hard to get back into our routine, but I'm back. I'm here, we're doing it. And while we're on the subject of this trip, I wanna let you know an update regarding Prime Lister. It came in really handy on this trip and I'm gonna show you how. Uh, I'll put up a screenshot here as I talk about stuff, but I'm looking at my computer. But essentially, um, there was a good 10, 11 days where I was not really cross-listing onto Poshmark from eBay. And regardless of that, because I had Prime Lister running and it was doing what it does, I actually had my best month ever on Poshmark, literally ever, <laughs> which is crazy considering I spent a third of the month not even listing and not even being really active um, outside of Poshmark doing what it does. I just had somebody shipping out stuff for me while I was gone and that's it. And that's why I'm really thankful for Prime Lister being today's sponsor to tell you guys why this is such an awesome software to use. And the proof is in the pudding, so let me show you. As you can see here with the running 12 months worth of sales, March was before using Prime Lister. March was my best month and it was like one of those random off months where people were just spending money I think because a lot of people were getting their tax returns um, and then April came along and two weeks into April I started using Prime Lister and as you can see it became um, before May it became my second highest grossing month and then when we moved into May which is my first month using Prime Lister for like an entire month as you can see, it really came in handy. I made $1,063, which was my highest grossing month on Poshmark. Remember, Poshmark is not my main platform, though I would like for it to come up and work alongside eBay. So that's the whole point of trying to use something like Prime Lister. And as you can see regarding sales as well, um, not only was it my highest grossing month, but I also sold 36 items. And the next closest I ever had was a 10 item difference. So that is significant for me, in my opinion. And I'm really thankful for what Prime Lister has done for my sales on Poshmark. So if you're not aware of what Prime Lister is, it is a software that is cloud-based, which is amazing in itself. And we'll get into that in a minute. And it offers two functions. One is cross-listing and the other one is cloud-based Poshmark automation. I do currently use both. So cross-listing obviously is going to help me take my items from eBay to other platforms like what I currently do, um, Poshmark and Depop. And then the Poshmark automation tool takes care of everything that is needed for the social aspects of Poshmark in order to have the best chance of producing cells. Now, the nice part about it being cloud-based is that you can set it and forget it, which is really the reason that I went for this um, because before a program I was using, you had to babysit the computer. It would turn off regularly. You had to make sure it was doing everything. And on top of that, it was a lot of effort to do the delist and relist options on Poshmark. So I never put any effort into that ever. Um, and then when I got Prime Lister, it does that automatically for me. And I realized I was making sales that I was missing out on because I was not delisting and relisting. So that's a big part of why I'm enjoying using Prime Lister as my software option to handle all of these things for my business. Now they have added some new functions recently, which is really great. And one of them is that you ha can have a lot more specific control in Poshmark. One of them being you can select a certain amount of items to put on the 10% markdown. As you know, that uh, Poshmark does like a closet clear out on Fridays and Sundays, and you can actually schedule those in advance using Prime Lister so that you don't have to worry about it. Once again, it's a set it and forget it type of program. So. You can use it, set it up anytime that you have the availability to do it. You don't have to get on on Friday or Sunday and reduce the prices. It will do it for you. So if you only have time early Monday morning to get it done, you can do it in their system and it will go live when it's supposed to. And then I'm also going to show you um, how I used it recently to mark down some things for a huge like bulk um, sale. And by that, I mean sending offers obviously on Poshmark. So I did like a bulk send offers on Poshmark and here is how I did that. So first we're going to open up the Prime Lister app. As you see here, I do have Apple, but it is available for Android as well. We're going to go to the bottom bar and click listings. Next, you will see the three lines at the top and this is a filter. If we click that, you'll see your options here. And the only thing I'm going to change is the age of the listings to send out this offer. So we are going to change it to 45 to 150 days. And that's all I'm going to change. Next, I'll click apply fillers, filters. And then once it loads here in a second, 
we will go to the top, select all is what we're going to push. And then you scroll down just a tad bit here and you'll see what's selected, those listings selected. Create new task. We're going to send offer. And the offer we're going to send out is 35%, we'll do 30, 30%. And we're going to do the same shipping cost. That's, we're not going to change anything else. We're going to send the offers. And as you can see here, your task has successfully created itself. And then if you want to double check it, you can go over to the Poshmark app and click Poshmark. And we can go to my offers and we can see all the new offers that have been sent out right here. As you can see, this was just sent out, expires in 23 hours. So there you go. That's how you do it. Don't forget that I do have a link down below for you that gives you 30% off your month. But even better than that, you do get a two week free trial. That free trial, you don't have to enter your credit card information, any personal information. You get to try it with no strings attached at all. And then once you're ready, you use my link to give you the 30% off of your first month. And then you use it and you watch it help your store the way it has helped mine. I really do enjoy this product. Okay, and I will let you know that I am on a tight schedule today. So today's video is hopefully going to be efficient and to the point. So this first sale is a Poshmark sale and it is a Blarney Woolen Mills Ireland made cardigan jumper. Um, I put small chunky boho log and look as some of the keywords to sell it. And this did sell in 54 days and it did sell for $35 with shipping as well. Um, and now I always explain this, whenever I do the math here, just know the math is not gonna math, okay? And that's because I'm only giving you so many of the numbers that affect the prices and outcomes. I'm not giving you all of the little details in there necessarily. Um, so when you try to do some of the math, it may not come out to what you're thinking it should be. All I'm going to share with you is what they paid, what costs I accumulated, excluding shipping, because that's going to change no matter where you are. Then what my profit is after all of the fees and cost of goods. Keep in mind this is before taxes as well because taxes is also something that can be a variable depending on where you're at. So that's how I do my numbers. I paid $4.99 for this sweater and the fees were $7 even. So I made a profit of $23.01 on this. Keep in mind, log and look and boho are very good keywords. This is Ireland made. People do specifically seek out things made from certain places such as Ireland. So that was part of why it sold within a decent time frame. Okay, this next sale is a J. Jill Maxi Dress 2X sleeveless, breathable, stretch, knit, yellow, minimalist, travel. I also could have used buttered yellow because that is a trending keyword right now, but I did not know that at the time. But this dress here, J. Jill doesn't sell in the winter, that's what I'm realizing, but in the summer it moves. It's just not the greatest money. It is very saturated now. Um, but it sold on eBay in 27 days for $30, which is pretty good maxi dresses and things from J. Jill do better than other things. I paid $4.99 for it and the fees were $5.92. This was sold through a promotional, I don't know if eBay bumped it to the top and somebody bought it or what, but there are promotion uh, fees and that's $2.24. So my profit was $23. $21.73. Okay, so this next one is one I've been playing around with to see if it would sell because the stylistically it would, but I was like, it's not a brand that seems to go for a lot. So I bought a few of them just to see what happens and I am correct, they do sell, but they don't sell for much. So I will say before I tell you about this item, I would only buy this for really cheap. So um, going forward, like I'm only going to get it if I see it at the Goodwill outlet or if it's like the 99 cent sales at the thrift store anything that's keeping the cost really low. And that is the One World Live and Let Live line. And this was a maxi dress and it was it was really pretty. It was giving a very boho-y kind of 70s vibe. And so that's kind of what I went for as far as how I listed it. Yeah, it, it really had a lot going for it. It did sell on eBay in 16 days for $20. And that's why I'm saying buy it for low cost. Do not pay up for it. And then I shared it within the Resellers Edge University Facebook page. And they all, a lot of people were agreeing it's something that they get for low cost and can flip for around $20, $25. I paid $3.39 for this one specifically. The fees were $4.22 on eBay. So I made a profit of $15.06 on that dress. Next is an L.L. Bean item. It was a faux wrap dress, uh, specifically the faux wrap tinsel dress. And I think I forgot that this was actually brand new with tags. So I would have held on to it for longer to make more money. But when I sold it, I forgot. And I didn't remember until I went to go pack it. Um, so I definitely could have made more money on this one. But 
It was a size large, a really pretty green with a geometric print, very soft and stretchy, very comfortable feeling. I sold it on Poshmark in 59 days for $22. I paid $5.99 for it. So, you know, we're, we're kind of real close there for what I like to do. If you don't know, I like to Forex my money. So I should have at minimum made $23.96 on the item. So I was just under that at $22 but I definitely could have held onto it for longer in order to get the proper amount of money. The fees I paid on Poshmark were $4.40, so I made a profit of $11.61. Next is a men's buttercloth shirt, which I felt like the comps were pretty promising. I still have one of them that I bought that same day that hasn't sold, and this one honestly was the better one though. The other one's a little more plain, which when it comes to men's items, it seems like um, geometric prints and things that are more busy do sell more than the more plain ones and for better money. I did sell it on Poshmark in 56 days for a really nice amount of $49. I didn't expect to get that much from it, so I'm really happy it sold for that much. I paid $4.99 for it, and the fees on Poshmark always hurt $9.80. I made $34.21 on that item. Here is another J. Jill dress. This is the J. Jill Wherever Perfect t-shirt dress. That was its specific name, style name, and it seemed to be a selling point for this, so I kept that. I feel like J. Jill a good amount of stuff keeping the actual style name is helpful um and then i just went with some of the obvious things about it j jill is like it there's very specific people looking for j jill it's not like necessarily a stylistic choice it's more like a following of people who enjoy this brand so you know it was green floral stretch cap sleeve casual and that was enough to get it sold and i sold it on ebay in 89 days so barely making that cut off for 23 dollars 40 it was probably on a sale or something. I had only paid 99 cents for it on a sale at Goodwill. Goodwill, I'm having trouble talking today. Uh, my fees were $4.63 plus a promotional fee of $1.71. So I made $18.58 on that sale. Next is another Poshmark order. And this one was the brand Cos, I think is how you pronounce it. And it is a line, what is it associated with? Is it H&M? I think it's a, another line that's owned with the same company as H&M and uh, some other items can sell. This was a more plain item and a lot of people do claim they're more business casual items or what sell for them. And this was a cos pullover blouse in a size 10. It was gray, plain, long sleeves, very minimalistic. And I made $20 on it on Poshmark in 51 days and I paid $1 for it, probably 99 cents actually at one of those sales. I probably just rounded up when I was doing this and my fees were $4. So I made 50, $15. I made $15 on that sale. Okay. Next is another one of these great nylon pants that is made for the outdoors. And this is the Eddie Bauer First Ascent Capri Pants. First Ascent is a brand I always look up, but this was a Capri Pants. They're nylon, which is a big keyword for these kind of outdoorsy pants. They were stretched. They have these really cool ruched details on the side of the leg. And I used words like outdoors, hiking, all the keywords that move this type of stuff. It sold on eBay in 29 days for $24.30. And I paid $2 for these. Fees were $4.15 plus a promotional fee of $1.52, making the profit $17.23. Next was a lovely sale of mine. Um, I probably could have a little more if I would have waited it out, but that's okay. And it was this gorgeous Venus dress. Now Venus, I've shared about it in the past. It's not a brand I would pick up all the time, but Venus does have a lot of stylistic pieces that are worth looking at. And this was one of those. This is a Venus dress size six. It was a flounced neck and sleeve line, purple, um, polka dot, I use the word coquette. I feel like it fell into that category loosely. If you look up the coquette aesthetic, you'll see why. Uh, 90s style, because this is a very much like 90s Easter dress type of thing, which is another popular style. Chiffon, so it's like nice sheer delicate chiffon. Very like clueless -y too when I think about it. Something you'd see on there just kind of over the top. And this sold on eBay in nine days for $25.00. Like I said, that's a pretty quick sale. I just wanted to take it, but I definitely could have held off to make more money. I paid $4.50 for it and fees were $5.28. I made $21.76. This was a hard one for me to let go of because I really wanted to keep it. It was not my size. It's the only reason I didn't keep it. But I was like hoping it would never sell, <laughs> but it did. 
and that's um a boston proper dress and not just any but i feel like this is the best boston proper i've ever found myself and uh as you can see here it was a high low hem with ruffles very much like coastal granny tropical vibes so those are the kind of keywords we went with and it sold on ebay in 31 days for 35 dollars i paid 5.99 for it and my fees were six dollars 25 cents with additional promotional fees of $2.37, and that brought my profit to $23.77. This next one isn't a fun one to share, um, and I'll explain why, but I, I prefer to be transparent with you guys, including bad sales. So let's talk about this item. It's the Columbia Rock Grinder Hiking Boots for men, size 12. Um, I'm pretty sure these were vintage, but I struggled with verifying that they were vintage. This is, it's not something I have a lot of information on in my head and research. I just feel like I wasn't getting anywhere. So I skipped writing vintage. Um, this did sell for 15 days on eBay for $27 all the way to somebody, somebody in Alaska. And the fee, no, I paid $5.29 for these shoes. The fees were $6.59. Were these part of my shoe dead pile? I don't think they were. I can't remember, but I don't think they were. Uh, I made a profit of $18.44, but here's the problem. When they arrived, I got photos. If I still have the photos, I don't know, I'll show them to you. But when I, yeah, when they arrived, they had photos that basically the sole dry rotted and it detached itself from the bottom of the shoe. Very unfortunate, very expensive to ship back considering it was from Alaska. So this is one of those items I had to go ahead and say, hey, my bad, I'm just gonna refund you everything, keep the shoes there because it was just too expensive to send them back to myself. So full refund to him of both shipping and cost of the shoe that he paid. I didn't have to bite the cost of return shipping. There's nothing I could have do I could have done really. There was um I didn't have insurance when I shipped it. It wasn't worth worth holding on to, so I just took the hit. So transparency, not every sale is great, and so I wanted to include it for that reason. All right, this gap midi dress here sold faster than I really expected. I knew the style, the print on it was going to make it sell, plus it's a wrap dress, a true wrap dress, always a selling point. But I did not expect it to sell within the 90 days, to be honest, which maybe that's not a good thing to pick up. But it ended up selling um, within 13 days on eBay for $27. And I paid $2.50 for it. The fees were $4.80. So I made $20.37 as the profit on this item. It was definitely the print that made me get it. And the fact that it was a wrap dress because Gap is not the best brand to sell. <laughs> but that one worked out great. Next is these Adidas Men's Ultra Boost 5.0 DNA running shoes. And they were navy uh, in a size 10 and a half. I almost kept these for my husband because they were in that death pile of shoes that I did not want to deal with. Um, but he wasn't crazy about them and I was like, I'll sell them. Um, it's good I sold them instead because I turned what was $5.29 into $69. They sold for $69 in 52 days on Poshmark. The fees were $13.80. Those are always hard to read when they get that big, but my profit was $49.91. So, you know, those death piles, you better get to them because <laughs> there are some good items in there as I learned. And I definitely should have sold them a lot sooner than a year after buying them. Next, we have a pair of Hoka's. These are Hoka 1, 1 Clifton 8 shoes. I have one more in my death pile of this exact style that I'm going to list. ASAP. I need to get on it because they're they're Hoka's. Um, but yeah, they're the Clifton 8s size 11D, which is pretty big. And they're a pair of running shoes in the style of Blue Frog. That's the colorway. They sold on eBay for in 53 days for $45. I had paid $16.99 for them, which you could pay up that much for Hoka's. But, you know, just be careful on how much you're willing to pay up because you might not always get the return depending on how high they are marked. I should have made $67.96 in order to recoup that. So I didn't make that much, but considering they were sitting for a year, that's a good profit. Once again, death pile sitting for a year, not listed. Fees were $7.75. I made $25.94 on that sale. Next was a gorgeous R&M Richards dress, which I knew it would sell, but I was surprised how fast it sold. And I had somebody message me asking about purchasing it and I'd explain it already sold. But it sold on eBay. Well, first, what is it? It's an R&M Richards evening gown. It was a size 18 W, very much like giving wedding vibes, whether that's mother of the bride, mother of the groom, or somebody in the wedding party, or maybe some other event similar where you need to be semi-formal or formal. But yeah, it had this gorgeous sequin and laced top half and the bottom half was 
uh, I don't remember if it was, it was like Shifani, I think. I think it was Shifan. I'm, I'm not sure. But it sold on eBay in four days for $50. I paid $8.99 for it. So that definitely met my threshold of forexing my money. And the fees were $7.98. So I made $37.89 on that sale. Next is the Soft Surrounding Siesta Key Blouse Large Gauze Layered. Um, shirt. Blah. Yeah, it's a shirt. <laughs> And it sold pretty fast on eBay in 18 days. Now, I'm trying to remember, was there, there was only a one flaw. It was a tiny, tiny, tiny little stain on it. Um, so considering it had a stain, as I, I've said in the past, I'm willing to give up anything with flaws for around 15 bucks, but it did better than that. It sold on eBay in 18 days for $23 and I paid $2.99 for it. The fees were $4.69, so I made a profit of $18.24. Next is this Lands in Cotton Boyfriend Fit Long Sleeve Tunic Top, and it had a quilt powder pattern, and I knew the quilt pattern was going to be worth picking up. Um, it didn't sell for a lot, but that's that's okay. Not every item is going to be a winner. <laughs> uh, but it sold on eBay in 28 days for $19. I paid $0.75 cents for it, so a great turnaround for me. And the fees were $3.57, and... Uh, the profit was $16.31. All right, next is a favorite brand of mine to sell. It's not one I find often, but I feel like it's a great one when I do find it. And that is Agnona. So Agnona is an Italian uh, designer brand. I believe it's a designer brand. And every now and then I come across it only at this one specific thrift store. So there must be somebody, <laughs> it's, it's near a wealthy area. And I would not be surprised if people from this area often travel to Italy for vacation or whatever business. Um, so yeah, this one store I find Agnona every now and then, and this is an Agnona dress that was silk, a silk blend. It had a really cool pin tuck design to the waist. And when you find these items, they feel, they feel so good. Like you, you know, their quality. I did sell it on eBay in 62 days for $50. A lot of the items that are listed in this brand on eBay are overpriced for sure. Because if you look at how many are listed versus how many sold and the price is actually sold for versus what they're listed for, this is the proper amount you should be getting for it. So I recommend if you find Agnona, do not price like the other listings you see because you're not, for the most part, you're not going to get the amounts that you see on there like over a hundred dollars. So I price it around, I think 80 to 90 to be under market. And then I take offers and my offers for this brand tend to fall around this price range. I paid $4.99 for it. The fees were $7.86. So that is a total of $38.75 in profit. Okay, next is Cuba Vera. And I messed up on this one. I don't know what happened around, I don't know why. There was a certain time on eBay when I was listing, there was just so many errors going on. I don't know what happened, but I found out that this along with a lot of listings on that same day or around that time, we're listing for free shipping, which I don't do free shipping. So because of that, this was not a great sale. Otherwise it would have been a decent one. But this is a Cuba Vera men's linen shirt in a size XXL. Very Cuban style shirt when you think of vacationing there or people living there. Like when you see the photos and someone smoking a cigar, this is very much a style shirt you would see. Now this was new with tags. So this should have gone for probably around 20, yeah, 25 to $29 with tag. Um, and that's the reason I got it. Now, I did accept an offer um, in 11 days on eBay for $24.50, but I was not aware that I was giving free shipping. I originally paid $5 for this shirt, and the fees were $3.74. The cost of goods was $1. No, that was, sorry, the promotional fee is $1.35. I throw in an additional $8 for shipping, unfortunately, so I only made $6.42 on this. It should have been way more than that. This next one is an interesting one. It's one I've never heard of. Honestly, it doesn't seem like it's anything great. The tags remind me of like Shein. There's no actual tag on the inside of the item. I wouldn't have known the brand if it wasn't brand new tags. And then you just have like that little tiny cheap looking size tag on the inside of the item in the side seam. And the brand is called Three Potato. Uh, now I got it because one, it was new with tags. So I was able to identify that <laughs> brand. Um, and two, the design was very much art to wear. And when I looked up this brand, it seems like the most artsy ones are the ones that sold. And I felt pretty confident in this one. So I listed it. It sold on eBay in three days for $37. I paid $5.29 for this dress in store. The fees were $6.02. So I made a profit of $27.22. So pay attention to the design of this dress, as you see here. Um, the build of it, 
the artwork on it, those kind of things. Because if you find this and you don't have a tag, good luck. <laughs> there was no inside tag at all. Good luck identifying it. I don't know if I find it without the tag, but if you find the right piece, it definitely will sell. Next is a Poshmark sale for these BZ's Desire Wedge slide sandals. Pretty self-explanatory here. They were open toe crossover type sandals, uh, seven and a half in size, which is an okay size. It's whatever. But these were in my death pile of shoes for sure. Sold on Poshmark in 31 days for 20 bucks. Like I said, I'm going to take whatever I can get on those shoes and get rid of them. Uh, I paid $5.29 most likely, though I can't guarantee because it was a year old, so I can't even remember the price for it. I just put the average of what I knew the shoes to cost at that time. The fees were $4, so I made $10.71 on those shoes. Okay, this next one is an outlier. And I'm going to, oh, I gotta get going soon. This next one is an outlier and I'm going to share it just because it made a good amount of money, but it took 101 days to sell. So just outside of the 90 day time frame, and it sold on Poshmark. Um, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren hoodie shirt, like a hooded sweatshirt. And it had the rugby teddy bear on it. So that is why uh, it sold for a good amount. So uh, it sold, yeah, in 101 days on Poshmark for $65. And I had paid $4.99 for it. The fees were $13. So I made $47 one cent on that item. There were probably other outliers, but I'm moving fast to get through this. I'm gonna share just a few more before I go to this meeting. Okay, next is an Audi, Audi, Eddie Bauer Travex vest for women. Another outdoorsy hiking item. So nylon, as you see, those are the things that people are looking for. It sold on eBay in 15 days for $22.50. I paid $2.50 for it. It did have a few flaws that were notated and the fees were $4.24. I made $17.39. So outdoorsy nylon pieces from certain outdoorsy brands, always consider picking them up or at least looking them up to see if they're worthwhile. Okay, lastly to share with you guys, this Solitaire Anthropology Peasant Blouse. Um, Solitaire is kind of a hit or miss brand for me personally. So stylistically, I make some choices for them and this is one of those items. Uh, didn't give the best payout though, but it sold on eBay in 46 days for $20. I paid $1.99 for it. That's probably why I picked it up because it was so cheap that I was going to make a profit. The fees were $30, not $30, $3.36. With Solitaire, I do usually promote it. So I made, uh, the cost of that was $1.40. I made $14.90 on that shirt. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Like I said, I have to get out of here. I have to get to a meeting, but um, feel free to check out whatever other video I have up here. And I'll see you over there in that video. And have a great day. Make some sales.